Yeah, I think from a personal point of view, um, I'm ecstatic. I'm really excited for the team. Um, yes, it's it's good to put a, a personal performance on the board, but I, I'm I'm really excited in the way that Australian cricket's heading. Um, the way we prepared for this game, the the way that we, you know, we did our research on the players, um, everything leading up to this game, I felt um, was absolutely perfect, and and obviously the result tonight was was ideal. And what about personally? Can you just talk us through a couple of the wickets? I suppose Virat in particular. Yeah, I, I was actually um, probably a little bit disappointed where the where the ball came out. Um, probably bowled it a little bit too straight, but luckily enough had a fielder there um, that hung on to it. Uh, Marcus Thorne has hung on to it, so it's probably a wicket I'll remember for a very long time. Um, Jai, what was the the talk at half time with the with the score at two hundred eighty eight? Did you feel like there was a good enough total to defend on that? Yeah, look, it was a really good wicket, um, and we understood that. You know, it probably wasn't the quickest wicket in the world. Um, so we knew when the ball got a little bit softer later in the innings that when we turned to slower balls and, and change of pace um, that it was going to be quite effective. And we saw that um, at the end there. Everyone changed their pace really well and, and got a few wickets with that. Um, yeah, we thought it was a competitive score and obviously 280 is a competitive score. Um, there's a few larger pockets um, around the ground, so there's a few long boundaries and, and I think we actually bowled well um, according to that tonight. Andrew? What did you learn from your first matches against England? Your home debut and then three games in a pretty tough series for the team back in England. What did you learn? Have you brought some of that into this season? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, um, when you have a series like that, then all you can do is learn and, and learn how to get better. Um, like I said before, our preparation um, leading up to this game was absolutely phenomenal. Um, everyone trained with, with great intensity. We had a, had a really tough session during the week um, that got everyone up and about. Um, and everyone was really excited to play this game. Everyone was really excited to, to get into the retro kits. Um, and I think, I know it's such a small thing being in this, um, this uniform, but it, it just creates a nice positive um, sort of feel around the group. Everyone's really excited to get it on and, and throws a few flashbacks in there. So, yeah, that's very good. Joe, you've created a really great opportunity for yourself now, not just in this series, but to get picked in the World Cup squad when the big guys come back and, and play a role in England uh, later in the year. I was going to, just following Nash's question, really, that, that chance to bowl this year, um, do you feel like you can return? Well, sorry, last year, I should say. Do you think if you go again in, in 2019 that you're in a really good position to uh, uh, take some big bags and make a, an influential performance on the World Cup? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm learning every day. I'm learning more and more about my game every day. Um, really enjoyed being back in WA to be able to play... Um, probably a fair bit more cricket than I have last year. Played, played some Shield games and obviously started off in the Big Bash. Um, just to get the, the amount of cricket that I've played under my belt um, has been ideal. It Just in that learning process, just, just being able to, to really hone in on my skills and, and know what I'm good at and learn what I'm good at. So when it comes to next year, obviously, obviously as a long-term goal, it would be great to get there. Um, but my, my focus purely is on these next two games. And do you think you can buy yourself under Nash's team? It's, it's a dream. Um, I would love to play an Ashes tour. Um, I think, obviously, if I keep going well, then nothing's out of the question. But uh, as I said, my focus is, is here and now, and, and we'll go from there. Um, Jay, how often in your life have you been told that you don't look like a fast bowler to start with? <laughs> and, and secondly, uh, because you don't come across as the big, burly Aussie pacer, but you still hit like really good speeds. How does it come about? Yeah, it's a question I get a lot. Um, when I was younger, obviously, a lot of people told me that I wasn't going to be a fast bowler. Um, that's just reality, you know. We saw a, a lot of big, tall, strong, fast bowlers, and I've always liked to think of myself as um, not better or worse, just different. Um, and, and I think with that, it, it might, you know, on certain wickets, uh, wickets that aren't bouncing, I guess, being a little bit shorter might get the ball to skid through a little bit more. Um, those sorts of little things. Uh, yeah, like I said, I don't think it's... Better or worse, just different. Uh, and Joe, just on Rohit's innings, um, big knock from him. What was the feeling at, like with him still out there um, and just a word on his performance in general? Yeah, look, he batted really well. Um, credit to him. He, he summed up the conditions just as well as we did. Um, batted very patiently and knew the balls that he could put away and, and he picked the gaps um, really well tonight. And, you know, there was a period there they had a partnership through the middle um, and almost 
you know, could have taken the game away from us, but we were we were lucky to get Donny out um, LBW, and and you know we we kept getting wickets from there. So look, he was very dangerous, and we understood that. Um, so our our plan sort of changed to to sort of get him off strike and and just bowled the other batsman down the other end. Um, just another World Cup question: Is Justin had a chat about you in terms of sort of where you sit in the pecking order? And I suppose is it weird at all when you're sort of in the dressing room and you look around and think? You know, if the big three do go, then there's probably only one of us who's going to be on the plane with them. Yeah, look, I haven't really had the conversation with him, and I don't think I need to just yet. Um, I can, I'll keep coming back to it. You know, my focus is on these two games um, coming ahead. And, and look, Justin said that it's a great opportunity to be able to push your, your selection for the World Cup next year. But we've still got a lot of white ball cricket before now and then. So I think it'll be... For me to, to concentrate on these two games and then if I'm lucky enough to get picked for the next tour, then it will be concentrating on those games. Um, and then, you know, if I get picked, I get picked. But all I can concentrate on is, is what's happening now.